Wednesday, 21st week after Pentecost, evening meditation, October 28th, 2020. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choice as Teacher in Moral Theology, Act of Faith in the Presence of God, in Nomina Patri, Filii, Spiritus Sancti, Amen, Most Holy, Adorable, and Undivided Trinity, One God in Three Persons, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I believe that Thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility, render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer. One hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being culminated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Mighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our evening meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever Virgin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus Tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tu Jesus. Sancta Maria Mata Dei, or Penobis peccatoribus, nuc in hora mortis nostrae. Amen. In honor of St. Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray, Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancta. Secret Eret in Principio, Nucet Semper, and Secula, Secula, Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created. You shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost, to grant that same spirit, that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening Meditation, Conformity to the Will of God. 14. Special Practices of This Virtue We must bring our will in conformity to the divine will, even as regards our degree of grace and end of glory. Highly as we ought to esteem the glory of God, we ought to esteem his will yet more. It would be good to desire to love God more than the very seraphim, but it would not be right to desire to ascend to a higher degree of love than what the Lord has determined for us. Blessed John of Avila says, quote, I do not think there ever was a saint who succeeded in becoming as holy as he had wished to be, but not never disturbed a saint, because saints wish to become holy only to please God, not for their own satisfaction. Therefore, they were satisfied with the degree of holiness to which God's grace raised them, even though it was not as high as what they aimed at. They believed that there was more true love in being content with what God gave than in wishing for more. All this means, as Father Rodriguez explains, that we should be diligent in trying to reach the highest perfection possible 
so as not to turn our own lukewarmness and laziness into an excuse, as those do say, as those do who say that God must make them a present of holiness if he wants them to be holy, since they themselves can do little or nothing. Nevertheless, when we fail in our efforts, we must not lose our peace of mind, nor our conformity to God's will, nor our courage. God's will permits our fall. What we have to do is to rise at once, to humble ourselves by repentance and with greater earnest than ever in prayer, pursue the way of perfection. It would, moreover, be but too evident a fault to desire to possess gifts of supernatural prayer, such especially as ecstasies, visions, revelations, whereas, on the contrary, spiritual writers say that those souls on whom God bestows such graces ought to pray to him to deprive them of them, in order that they may love him by the way of pure faith, which is the safest way of all. There are many who have attained perfection without these supernatural favors. Chief amongst these virtues that raise the soul to the highest sanctity stands conformity to the will of God. If God does not choose to raise us to a high degree of perfection and of glory, let us conform ourselves in all respects to his holy will, praying that he would at least save us through his mercy. And if we act in this manner, the reward will not be small, which of his goodness our good Lord will give us for above everything. He loves those souls that are resigned. In short, we ought to regard whatever comes to us as proceeding from God's hands, and everything we do should direct to this one end, the fulfillment of God's will, and to do it simply because God wills it to be done. And in order to proceed with greater security in this, we must follow the guidance of our superiors as regards what is external, and of our directors with regard to what is internal so that we may, through them, understand what God desires of us. Having great faith in those words of Jesus Christ, quote, He that heareth you, heareth me. Luke 10, 16. And above all, let it be our study, our study to serve God in the way it is his will that we should serve him. I say this that we may not deceive ourselves as to what, as to, as many do who say, quote, Oh, if I were in a desert, if I could enter into a monastery, if I could go somewhere and not have to remain in this house, away from these relatives or these companions of mine, I would sanctify myself. I would do so much penance. I would say so many prayers, unquote. He says, quote, I would do this, I would do that, unquote. But in the meantime, as he bears with a bad will the cross God sends him and does not walk in the way of God's will, he does not he not only does not sanctify himself, but goes from bad to worse. These desires are mere temptations of the devil, for they are not in accordance with the will of God. We must, therefore, drive them away, embrace ourselves up to, serve, to the service of God in that one way which he has sent, set before us. By doing his will, we shall certainly sanctify ourselves in any state where God places us. Let us then ever will only that which God wills, so that he may take and press us to his heart. And for this end, let us make ourselves familiar with some of those passages of Scripture that invite us to unite ourselves ever more and more to the divine will. Quote, Lord, what wilt thou have me do? Acts 9, verse 6. My God, tell me what thou desirest of me, for I desire to do it all. Quote, I am thine, save thou me. Psalm 118, verse 94. O my Lord, I am no longer mine own, but thine. Do with me whatsoever thou pleaseth. And at such times, especially as any very grievous calamity befalls us, as is the case of death of parents, the loss of property, and such like, quote, Yea, Father, for so hath it seemed good in thy sight. Matthew eleven twenty six. Yes, my God and my Father, let it be even so for so it hath pleased thee. And above all, let us love that prayer which Jesus Christ has taught us, via voluntus tua secum cello and in terra, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The Lord told St. Catherine of Genoa that whenever she said the Our Father, she was to pay particular attention to these words and pray that his holy will might be fulfilled by her with the same perfection with which it was fulfilled by the saints in heaven. 
Let us too act in this manner, and we shall certainly become saints ourselves. May the divine will and the blessed and immaculate Virgin Mary be ever loved and praised. Amen. O will of God, O will divine, Tis thy good pleasure, not my own, In thee, my God, I love alone, And nothing I desire of thee, But what thy goodness wills for me. O will of God, O will divine, All, all our love be ever thine. In love no rival canst thou bear, But thou art full of tenderest care, And fire and sweetness all divine To hearts which once are wholly thine. O will of God, O will divine, all, all our love be ever thine. In thee all pure affections live, to love thou dost perfection give. While ever burning with desires, the loving soul to thee aspires. O will of God, O will divine, all, all our love be ever thine. Thou makest crosses soft and light, and death itself seems sweet and bright. No cross, no fear, that soul dismays, Whose will to thee united stays. O will of God, O will divine, All, all our love be ever thine. To all the glorious choirs of heaven, Their very bliss by thee is given. And heaven itself, deprived of thee, Would be a land of misery. O will of God, O will divine, All, all our love be ever thine. Yea, to the lost who burn in hell, if in their souls thy love could dwell, the very flames and torments there would seem but sweet and light to bear. O will of God, O will divine, all, all our love be ever thine. O oh, that one day my life may end in closest bonds to thee and chain. For thus to die is not to die, but live and live eternal I. O will of God, O will divine, all, all our love be ever thine. To thee I consecrate and give my heart and being while I live. Jesus, thy heart alone shall be my love for all eternity. O will of God, O will divine, all, all our love be ever thine. Alike in pleasure and in pain, to please thee is my joy and gain. That, O oh, my love, which pleases thee, shall evermore seem best to me. May heaven and earth with love fulfill, my God, thy ever-blessed will. Concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, O Triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well. For the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life, and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that, although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for I turned my back upon thee. And I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay, that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and grateful as I have been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance and thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory, and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomine de Patre, Fili, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.